It made its mark on Halo Reach. Now it returns on Halo 4. This is... Ninja Warrior of Halo! Hello guys, Hunt Unit 751 bringing you another episode of Ninja Warrior of Halo. We've just completed Stage 1. Out of 100 challenges that tried, a record 13 managed to complete Stage 1, which included all but one of the returning veterans and both of the All-Stars. Now today these 13 challenges will take on Stage 2, where speed is the name of the game. Although there is 105 seconds on the clock, the challengers have to move quickly, as well as conquer the obstacles if they wish to advance. With so many through to Stage 2, how many will be good enough to advance to Stage 3? Only one way to find out. The tension is already high, as our first challenger makes his way to the start line. He was the first person to beat Stage 1 in this tournament. It's Sakeshi. He has 105 seconds to complete all 6 obstacles, he's off. First obstacle, the chain reaction, you've got to slide down, launch yourself to the other side. Once you've made the jump, you've got to swing back, hit one of the bumps to, that will slow you down and then you can head across. This obstacle is quite complicated, takes about 20 seconds to do, and he's done it in about that time. On to the brick climb. This is Sakeshi's first ever time in stage 2, he's been trying many tournaments now and this is his first time that he's reached this stage. He's onto the spider walk, this is the tough one. It's made up of uh, multiple sections, you first got to get up the columns, then you've got to go across and then you've got to slide down. Climbing up is probably the hardest bit, with some of these jumps are really tricky and he slipped up on one of them but he saves himself. Falls all the way back to the bottom though, that's going to cost him some time. Can he recover? He's climbing up again. Oh no, he slips and he's out. There he goes. Bad luck to him. Next up is the Max Challenge. Another person making his first appearance in stage two. How will he do? 105 seconds, he's off. Chain reaction, launches down and he falls short. He's out early, which means we're now on to our, the newcomer, H4 Logic. Uh, I believe I said this in a, in a previous episode, guys. This is actually the fifth tournament in a row where we've had at least one newcomer uh, reach stage two. On this occasion, it's H4 Logic. How far can he get on his first ever appearance on the course? Well, he's already done better than Max Challenge. And he swings back. He, oh, he misses the bump. That could cost him a couple of seconds. But he's advancing and he'll beat the first obstacle at least. Oh, a little bit of lag but it doesn't stop him. Onto the brick climb. This obstacle can't really kill you guys, it's just here to waste your time, so the faster you get up it, the more time you save. Onto the spider walk. Just took out Sakeshi. Will H4 Logic fare better on it? Coming up to the tricky jump. Oh, oh no, he misses it as well. Come on H4 Logic. He also manages to save himself, like Sakeshi. Oh, he's up to the top this time. Now he's got to head across, and then he's got to weave his way down, left to right. Oh, he slips on one of the jumps, and he plummets to earth, and he's out. Let's get a replay. It looks like he just, he tried to speed up to make it for the time he lost, and ended up slipping, making a mistake, and down he went. Which brings us on to our first returning veteran. He is the Crab Man, Smokey Massacre, making his second appearance in Stage 2. The first time he reached Stage 2 was back in Tournament 6 on Halo, uh, Halo Reach, uh, during which he put on a good performance but slipped up at the vehicle ramps and as a result his run ended there. Will he fare better this time round? Smokey Massacre, 105 seconds, 1 minute 45, he's off. Chain reaction. Launches and makes it to the other side, swings back. Hits the bump nicely. He said beforehand he's been training for stage two, so uh, let's hope the training can pay off. He also, he's the other person who runs his own uh, Ninja Warrior uh, obstacle course on Halo 4, the Halo Ninja Warrior. Going very nice. Oh, skips straight onto the spider walk there. 
you see this is what I mean any kind of little shortcut or quick move which can save you a few seconds can pay off but he's losing seconds here he slips back down just like the other two so far he recovers though quicker than the others and now he's at the top now he's heading across oh he skips one of the columns and he skips another one this is what I mean when I say make up time skip some of the jumps to save time altogether and now he's onto the balance tank first time we've seen it today gotta to roll the ball across the straight track he shoots it halfway and makes a huge vault to the other side this is the perfect run so far from Smokey apart from the spider walk but this is the way to complete stage 2 fast he's moving through the obstacles quickly finding whatever little shortcut he can so now he has plenty of time for the vehicle ramps this is what took him out in the last uh, last time he was in stage 2 will he fare better on him this time second jump each gap gets further and further apart goes for it on the third jump gets out that's incredible almost 16 seconds left on the clock even with that spider walk slip up Smokey Massacre destroys stage 2 and he advances to the third stage brilliant 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 from Smokey Massacre there's nothing else you can say about it spring jumps in celebration but all the way through this stage he was moving quickly especially on the spider walk and even better on the balance tank which meant he was able to spring jump in celebration at the end as he's the first man through to stage three unfortunately following Smokey's success the next to go weren't as fortunate first was Ice Lightfall this pro marksman had reached stage two in the last tournament but fell at the very end of the vehicle ramps he started off strong today but just like in the last tournament he found the vehicle ramps to be an impenetrable wall for him he slipped up on the second jump after that Sideshow Freak a regular in stage 2 tried the spider walk but couldn't conquer it whilst his friend I Game Types defeated the chain reaction that defeated him in the last tournament only to do the exact same thing on the spider walk which means we're now halfway through stage 2 with just one success so far next up is Duster Buster 2k another person making his second appearance in stage 2 and his first appearance in stage 2 on Halo 4 last time he reached stage 2 was uh, three tournaments ago back in tournament 8 during, during which he managed to beat the stage with less than a second left on the clock to advance to the third stage will it be as close cut again this time round chain reaction let's not forget of course that he attempted it back on Halo Reach when a lot of the obstacles were different now we have a lot of new obstacles that are unfamiliar to Duster onto the brick climb climbs up to the top and now he's onto the spider walk this has been the killer of many so far ending up to the top oh he uses one of the sides of the windows to get to the top risky technique but it paid off very good and it saves him some time as well he's heading on to the downward section now oh no he slips on one of the drops oh duster that's so unlucky oh he deserves better than that but he missed one of the jumps as he started the downward and that's curtains for this tournament next up is X Dom de Bomb X X Dom de Bomb X is like many others today making his second appearance in stage 2 and the first time he's reached this stage on Halo 4 earlier on in stage 1 he was able to power through all of the obstacles with incredible speed including the warped wall that's taken him out in 3 of the last 4 tournaments last time he was in stage 2 was in tournament 6 during which he showed he treated the stage with disdain making it look like a walk in the park and still managed to finish with more than 10 seconds left on the clock will it be the same this time round or will his luck run out on the second try X Dom the Bomb X makes his way up does his freaky little um, levitation intro as he calls it Wally and he's off for 105 seconds I absolutely didn't call him a Wally there uh, chain reaction he's made it down also a fellow member of this channel Extreme UK Gaming <laughs> still waiting for new episodes who said that oh uh, anyway there he is he's on the chain reaction heading across nicely and he's down onto the brick climb moves up that very quickly nice now onto the spider walk he's 
just seen his friend Duster Buster go out on this obstacle. He gets to the top nicely, just like Duster did. Heading across. And now reverse camera as we he heads down. Weaves his way around through the gap at the end. Now he's onto the balance tank. He's about halfway through on his time. Shoots the ball. You get guns at the start line, uh, which you can choose. You can choose one to pick uh, to try and shoot the ball. And it's worked from here. You can get off from there, Dom. He's onto the conveyor belt. Time might be an issue here, unlike with Smokey. Heading through the conveyor belt. The conveyor belt takes about 12 to 15 seconds to complete. Is he doing a little spin in the conveyor belt? He's, he's taking this as seriously as he did the last time. 16 seconds for the vehicle ramps. Is that enough time? First jump's done. Second jump. The klaxon sounding. Come on, Dom. One last jump. Five, four, three, two. Yes! Less than two seconds left on the clock. But Dom advances. Very good work by Dom. Oh, it was really a case of two halves here. In the first half, he showed impressive speed on the first on the first half of the course on the obstacles. But in the second half, he seemed to slow down a little bit on the balance tank, and then in the conveyor belt, which meant he had very little time left for the uh, vehicle ramp. But he still managed to finish and finish in style. Following Dom's success, two more challenges took on the course and succeeded. First was Ump Double Ump, the Spartan Warrior veteran who continued his comeback with a stylish performance in Stage 2. Although, like Dom, he reached the vehicle ramps with little time left on the clock, he was able to power through them with speed to finish with 7.4 seconds left on the clock. And there was also success for the All-Star, Drago is sick, who, just like in the previous tournament, made this stage look easy. Although he didn't go as fast uh, as he did in the last tournament, he still took the shortcuts wherever they existed, wherever possible, and was able to finish, although with a very close call at the very end of Stage 2. Nevertheless, he finished with 5.4 seconds left on the clock. That leaves just two challengers left to go. First is Elite MKB. Both of the final two challengers do have the, the distinct advantage of having never failed Stage 2 so far in their careers. First is Elite MKB, as I say, the pro racer. This is his fourth time in Stage 2 and the third tournament in a row that he's reached Stage 2. Uh, and as I say, in his three previous attempts, he's beaten Stage 2 each time. So can he go 4 for 4? He's through the chain reaction nicely, onto the brick climb. He reached this stage in the last tournament and managed to beat it, so he's fam more familiar with the obstacles than some of the others. He also takes the quick uh, sprint onto the spider walk. Even little things like that, that can save you a couple of seconds, and by the end of the stage, that can really start to... Uh, every second can really count. He's onto the downward section. Through there nicely, onto the balance tank. Shoots the ball, good technique, keeps shooting it, he jumps from halfway, nice. Now he's onto the conveyor belt. As I say, this obstacle normally takes between 12 and 15 seconds, as, you, as assuming that you don't get hit by any of the grav lifts. Well, when he has got hit there, but he's still got just under 30 seconds to complete the vehicle ramps. First ramp. Done. As I say, each uh, each gap gets further and further apart. Second jump. Oh no, he slipped backwards and he's gone. Oh no. Oh, he will not be happy with that. Oh, uh, he just didn't have enough speed to make that second jump. Landed a bit too low on it, and as a result, he bounces backwards and out of the competition, and he loses his stage two record. Which brings us on to our final challenger, the champion, Re95. And he may be the champion, but this is also his first time uh, that he's reached stage 2 on Halo 4. He's off on the chain reaction. He's also, like Dom, a fellow member of this channel, Extreme UK Gaming, and has started uploading uh, Let's Play videos. He's doing Fallout 3 at the moment. Go check it out, support it. It's a, so far, it's been a very good Let's Play, I have to be honest. 
but of course I would say that. But no, go check it out. Show the support. Uh, he's on the brick climb, climbing up nicely. Like Elite MKB, uh, he's never failed stage two. I think this is his. I think this is his sixth time he's reached stage two. This is his tenth appearance overall, and I think this is his sixth time in stage two. In his previous five attempts, he's beaten stage two uh, in all five of them. But as we've just seen, Elite MKB lost his 100% uh, success rate in Stage 2 just now. Will Re follow the same? He's about halfway through on his time as he hits the bounce tank. He's got the sword. He didn't choose to pick up a weapon at the start line. But the sword seems to be working for him. And he's over it. On to the conveyor belt. Well, he gets held back by one of the gravelists a little bit there, but he's in now. Oh, and again, he's losing a couple of seconds here, is Rui. Will that affect him on the vehicle ramps? This just took out Elite, and Elite's very good on a mongoose, usually. Oh, he can't afford any of these time losses like this. Come on, Rui. First jump. Done. The Quaxon sounding. Second jump. He's going to have to go for it, which he is. Third jump, made it, he's done it, and with 2.7 seconds to spare, the Grand Champion advances and keeps up his 100% success rate in Stage 2. Like several of us today, he reached the vehicle ramps with little time left on the clock, but he turned up the gas to beat the obstacle and advance. And that brings to an end Stage 2. Despite a record 13 people reaching the stage, only 5 were good enough to complete it. Smokey Massacre, Ump Double Ump, Drago is Sick, Re95 and x X will all return for Stage 3 in the finale episode next time when we'll see Stage 3 and if any of them make it, we'll see the final stage. Uh, there's still a few spots left for Tournament 12 guys, but they're running out fast. There's only a few left. Uh, check out the previous episode for details. I'll put a link in the description. Also, check out our website. I'll put a, I'll put a link for that in the description as well. Check it out. Sign up. It's getting big. Until next time guys, goodbye.